Welcome back to the show. The topic of today's program is one that hits a nerve in many Canadians, but for various reasons. It's the topic of sex education in our public schools. And I want to say up front that viewer discretion is advised today. We will be discussing some mature and somewhat awkward content. To give context to the conversation surrounding sex education in public schools, it came to a head a few years back in 2015 when the Ontario government introduced their controversial new sex ed curriculum covering topics that many parents felt were age inappropriate or completely inappropriate for a public school setting. Since then, conversation has continued to come to a head in various provinces across the nation, most recently in Alberta with the passing of Bill 24, which makes it illegal for a teacher to tell a parent if their child joins a gay-straight alliance club, and also in BC with the push to implement SOGI curriculum. In Ontario, the 2015 changes revamped the curriculum at that time to include the following. Showing and labeling male and female genitalia in grade one, introducing concepts of gender identity in grade three, teaching sexual self-discovery through masturbation in grade six, and introducing the practices of anal and oral sex in grade seven. Wow, I never thought I would say those words on national television, so here we go. The reality is that as awkward as it is, we need to talk about this topic because it affects millions of Canadian children and families. Those who are in favour of the changes to the various sex ed curriculum say that children need to be informed on these issues so that the transmission of STDs can be reduced, children can be taught principles of mutual consent and encouraged to explore alternative forms of sexuality. The assumption is that kids are not going to have these conversations at home, and if they do, parents might get it wrong. Those who are not in favor of the curriculum say that public school is a place for kids to learn math, science, reading, and writing, not masturbation, anal sex, or oral sex. Some have expressed that they feel the sex curriculum is motivated by a radical leftist agenda, attempting to shift the mindset of the next generation and how they view sexuality. And some feel it's simply a response to the culture. Others feel it's trying to drive a social agenda and a whole boatload of people simply don't know what to do with it all. So that's why we are going to talk about it today. My guest today, Phil Lees, not only was an educator for 29 years himself, but is also the current director of Peace Ontario, which has been tackling this tough issue head on for parents. Peace Ontario works to educate parents on what is being taught to their children, mentor them in how to build positive relationships with schools, and train parents on how to be effective first educators to their children. Phil is one of the nation's leading voices on this issue and it is an honor to have him with us in studio today. This is a loaded topic, so strap on your seatbelts. Let's get to it. 